Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We're joining Val as she is topping off her fuel tanks on the way to the moon. Okay. Anyway, that's we got everything out of the bottom tanks. So, now let's check our telemetry. Good. Still an impact. Decouple. Um... That's the one I was looking for. Alright. So all the tanks down here should be locked. If I use RCS... Okay, good. Why are you inducing a roll? That's just silly. So... Do I wait until I'm here to not smash into the moon? Yeah, it won't be more than, like, a little tap on the throttle. Right? 36. We could totally do that, but I, I don't think that's going to be very lucky for us. 81. Yeah, we'll shoot for 81. Helps when you turn the RCS back on. That tank wasn't locked. Oh well. Make sure that engine good. Not active. Note is in six days. So we've got some time then. Alright. Stability control. Just gonna use the H key from map view. We all know what RCS thrusters firing looks like, yeah? Hold on. Okay, just making sure I wasn't in docking mode. I may have been in docking mode. <laughs> Sixty's okay. Maybe we'll just do a really low uh, rendezvous to orbit. Eh, 60 by 70, that's not too bad, right? And I just wanted to verify. Yeah, surface only. Good, good, good. And do we have high space moon bio? We do. All right. I really kind of can't wait to design a better lunar lander. <laughs> We're going to see if it even gives us credit for landing on the moon, considering, uh, the suspension of the lander last time wouldn't let it actually stop moving long enough to give us credit for the landing. So we may have to set it down on the engine bell. I mean eventually, not initially. Are we recharging yet? No. Oh, crap. Even with all the avionics locked? This is bad news, dude. Where I had an extra battery in here. Oh, it's on this side. Emergency thruster. Yep, there's the battery. Why are we not getting any kind of electric charge out of this? Is it just because we're so off angle? We're not. Yeah, we're barely using that panel. I don't think we're using that panel at all. I mean, a little bit. 
Hmm. Okay, now we're recharging. That's weird. We totally didn't even move. There's all of our other junk. Moon's getting kind of crowded. I don't think we're close enough to see the S4B hit. No. Dang it. It would be back there, though. Either way, we need to unlock some tanks. Activate an engine. Uh, the burn will probably be about 10 minutes. Alright, we're gonna start this burn. No, we're not. I don't need to be a whole minute ahead. That was just a waste of time, I'm sorry. 30 odd seconds ahead though, that's not too bad. Ignition. Okay, estimated burn time is now 11 minutes 23 seconds. That's fine. Hold the maneuver node. Alright, and seeing as how I've got like uh, 11 minutes of exactly this, I'm gonna go take my dog outside and refresh my tea and I will be right back. Oh, I have the chat brought up on my phone so if you still want to talk to me I will have my phone. So please feel free to use the chat. I am watching. So on your best behavior Okay, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Yeah, oh man, now we're on the dark side. You're right, it might run out of power. Uh-oh. <laughs> that would be catastrophic if it ran out of power. Val's gonna be the only <laughs> Kerbal not to die on the moon. They're totally not oriented correctly <laughs> at all for anything. Uh, I kind of don't understand it. Every other mission with this exact craft, well, the one other mission with this exact craft, the other one had a different lander. None of them had power problems at all. Well, that's pretty. I might take that as a screenie. sample. Yes, we do. So I brought a goo sample for no reason, because we can get the on-surface experiment and that's it.
future designs may incorporate either multiple AJ-10s or uh, the actual service module propulsion system, which we've had unlocked for a while now. I just preferred the uh, added efficiency and lighter weight of the AJ-10. Yeah, we're losing Perry Loon. We're going to shut it down there. We're in orbit. That's good, right? 68 by 34. Where is our periapsis? Oh, very nice. I'd say that's near a pole, right? Man, I hope that's near a pole. I guess we'll find out if we cross the south polar region. Then I know we'll hit the north polar region, which I guess is where I had intended to land for no apparent reason whatsoever. But we can certainly get some biome science if we do hit it. Let's find out. Let's please not run out of power either. Okay, yeah, we're going to be fine in this orbit. I just don't know how much charging we'll get done in the meantime. I keep feeling like we're going to hit the pole any second now. Oh yeah, no. No, we're not. Lowlands, Midlands, Lowlands, Midlands. South Pole. Quick. Uh, Lem Radio is Command Group 4. Uh, we don't have a connection because I never turned on the antenna. Debate. Can we transmit? Yes! We have a link. And 11 science added, good. Another 11 science added, good. And one thing I always forget to include. Crew report. All right. And this has its own always on antenna. So we can start uh, thinking about when we'll make our landing, and we might as well just keep this periapsis, it'll make launching to rendezvous a little bit easier. Um, we really don't cross over any particularly good biomes, so just after ap ap Apaloon, so just after Periloon, that looks like a real big mountain, doesn't it? And we could go off angle to hit that crater, or maybe we should try to land just before the crater? I don't know. It certainly has to be on the daylight side. But in the meantime, we'll call that an episode. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. Um, come back tomorrow. We're going to actually put Val down on the moon. Until then, uh, I'll see you later.